Katie Hopkins in The Sun, she would essentially just defecate onto a blank piece of paper. <laughs> but do so with such precision and commitment that it becomes bizarrely compelling. A Katie Hopkins column, once seen, can't be unseen, can it? Free. A bit like when you're round at a friend's house and you're on the sofa and there, Staffordshire Bull Terrier jumps up, doesn't it? And its massive grey mottled penis kind of swings round into your face, kind of bulbous purple head. And you're going, ah, and they're going, are you all right? And you're going, yes, yes, it's fine. And then you sort of move him round and the testicles are sort of coming at you like sort of two walnuts in a sort of string bag, swinging around. And you're going, yeah, you're all right. And you're going, yes, yes, it's fine. And then you move the dog round again and his anus is in your face. But because he's panting, it's sort of opening and closing and pulsating. And there's something on it, like, could be a worm, could be some kind of vein. And it's all discoloured. Could be flecks of excrement, skin tone, you don't know. And the anus is going, you all right? Yes, fine. You try and move the anus away and the dog's penis swings. It's on your eye! The dog's penis is on my eye! No! And then the testicles are sort of going on your lips. <laughs> the dog's testicles. And you move it round. And the last thing you see is you push it away, the penis swinging round the testicles, the anus opening and closing and opening and closing, the worm, the discoloration, the vein, and you know that every time you shut your eyes for the rest of your life, you will see that image, you will see that image. And that's what a Katie Hopkins column is like. But less ennobling.